Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I've posted anything, but um, I've been a little bit under the weather. Um, nothing serious, but just um, haven't had a lot of energy. So I wanted to come on though and share this journal that I just got. Um, this was a purchase from Pam Vanny, who is uh, pen to paper by Pam on Etsy. And I will link all the information below. But um, I had ordered this the first part of June, and we had a little bit of a scare with the Postal Service. Um, it seemed to be kind of lost in transit for a minute. But um, it did come yesterday, so I was really happy to get it. Um, also, while I'm doing this video, I want to uh, kind of make it a VR for Pam because she is doing a 20 or a 2,000 subscriber giveaway on her channel. And all you have to do is um, like the video, do a VR if you have a channel. If you don't, then you don't have to, of course. Um, be 18 or older and a subscriber and leave a comment. And she is giving away one of her beautiful journals. I think this one's a butterfly journal. So, like I said, I will link the information below, and you can go check that out. You have until June 30th, so you don't want to wait too long uh, to do it. Um, Pam was nice enough to tell me about um, her giveaway. I didn't realize that she was doing one, so that's why I'm kind of late to the game. But anyway, I got the tassel laid out here because I just wanted you guys to see all of the cool elements that she has in it. The little word beads that say... A farmer, little heart flower beads, lace, different fiber. Love these bottle caps. This one says um, Gardener Farms Coffee Cream. And this one is a cow. And then there's this one of the rooster. So I thought those were really cool. And she's got some wood beads in here, some fabric with some beads on it, some different uh, rickrack and lace, just a lot of really cool elements. And then it's attached on here. Um, I guess it's tied on. I thought it was one you could remove, but it's not, which I wouldn't want to remove it anyway, so it doesn't matter. She has this uh, country kind of snippet. Uh, roll kind of piece, I guess, that um, is the closure of the tie. So that's pretty cool. And then it's made out of the Jolly Barnyard, little golden book. She's got a cute little snippet right there on the cover. There's the fabric on the binding. I'll just do a, a quick flip through here. Love this. Like a long snippet piece. And then um, I love the way she did this belly band. It says country creamer. And it's just got a little um, book with a tag. And then different pieces of paper that you could journal on. So I thought that was kind of cool. This is a 1972 edition of the book. And she's got all of the book pages in here, too. Love this mason jar. You can watch her video um, of uh, when she showed it, and it'll tell you the different thing. Okay, I'm trying to open this thinking it's a card. It's a postcard. <laughs> Okie dokie. She fills them with so much stuff, too. I really think that Pam doesn't charge enough for her journals. But then on the other hand, I'm kind of glad she does charge what she does because that makes it affordable for me to buy one. These ones that go for $100 and stuff, I just can't. Uh, I can't do it. Those of you that can, no judgment. But for me, I just can't uh, put that much money into a journal. Not that they're not worth it. Lord knows... Uh, people don't get what they should for all the work that go into them. I know that as well as anybody. But got to be able to afford it too, you know. 
this is a little I thought that was so cute that she put a little tag on there with a little hanky in the pocket so cute and then there's one here too Here's a little tuck spot with some journaling pieces. And another little one here. I thought this was so cute. It's a vintage card. It's a birthday card. And this flips up. Life is better on the farm. Little stamped images throughout as well. Okay, let's see, maybe that doesn't. Sometimes I have a hard time knowing what comes out and what's part of the decorations. And when she showed the video, I didn't even completely watched the whole video because I knew when I saw it that um, that I wanted it. Well, it is my malfunction. There we go. Another stamped image. Some different papers like that. Isn't it cute? little fringy pieces throughout. It's also on the tie right here too. And I thought these little drawers were so cute to make pockets out of. And she's got some little tags in there. The way she coordinates everything is just really nicely done. All kinds of little tucked away pieces of ephemera and journaling cards and whatnot. A little vintage seed pack card. <clears throat> that didn't even come out. A little tag. <laughs> I went to say that it came out a whisper. one foodie to another. It's cute. Recipe card. A little tuck spot there. A little cow stamp. Got a little paper clip with some fabric on it. Another recipe card. Little chick, cute. I love this. It's um, chenille flowers uh, fabric pocket and she's also got it on the tab there and they're cute <laughs> little paper has got notes on it look that paper she used behind with the doilies and stuff isn't it cute just a lot of really neat elements. And here's her uh, fabric flip. It also has some of the chenille there. Some different fibers. Very um, tactile. You know, I love that kind of stuff. Lots of more stamping. Mm 
pumpkin seeds tags. It's Farm Boy. Border Collie. Those are well-known herd dogs. Little cat charm on a bulb pin. That's cute. And then, of course, you got the little cat in here because she coordinates everything so well. There's some more of that little fringe. Some book pages. Graph paper. Another pocket stuffed. Oh, it's double pocket. We got the little card with the rake. And then back here. Pepper seeds. Little chicken card with the um, bottle cap. Oak oh, bottle cap, I think those are. Oh, there's another little tag. I almost missed that, but I saw the cord. You know, it might have been in there in the first place. I don't know. I went through this once already, so I might have got things in the wrong place. So that's the end of the first signature. Now we're going into the second one. Got this little talk with that cute Norman Rockwell card and a journal tag. Got the burlap. And this tag. Another one of the milk things. So I've had no energy for crafting or any of that. So I haven't, uh, I started to organize beads a little bit, but um, I really uh, didn't really have a lot of energy for that either. This is a little uh, file card with um, this little envelope. I didn't even see this. I don't think I took this apart. It's got a little card in there. That's cute. So anyway, I haven't had a lot to share with you guys. I don't know how that was in there. No, I forgot already. Maybe, maybe like that. So that's why I haven't uh, put up any videos because I haven't really had anything I was able to do. I've still, you know, been having to go out to mom's and take her to appointments and do that kind of stuff. And honestly, that uh, took everything out of me, just what I had to do, you know. I've been trying to rest as much as I can. Little, oh, it's a little scripture card. That's cool. A little Vinia Tuck. And there's another one behind. Pretty. Like I said, she definitely packs these full of goodies. And it was only $55, you guys. Like I said, I don't think she charges enough for her journals. But we all got to go with what we feel is right. So I think I charge about the same for mine. Love that postcard. A little tag. That's a, I guess that's a tuck. I thought it flipped down for a minute, but I think it's a tuck. And then there's a pocket in the top of the page. It's got a big um, recipe. <laughs> I couldn't think. Recipe card. And then got a tuck spot here with a little bag full of goodies. Oh, I think. Does that come out? Maybe it. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, maybe it doesn't come out. So, index card. And a little note paper. And then behind it, there's another bag that has this big tag in it. Thank you. 
definitely want to check out Pam's uh, channel and her Etsy shop. Meals card. And a Red Rooster Seed Company. This look from some some uh, either scrapbook paper or digital kit. Just little journaling cards. Apple card, apple custard, and picked apples. So cute. Some more stamping. Recipes. Love the sunflower stuff. It shows up a couple times in here. Isn't that cute? I wish she got all these mason jars, but those are cute. They're cute for journaling cards. Love that sunflower paper. And then, of course, the roosters over here. Love that. Cute little card. Oh, and the bunny. I didn't see that. I must not have pulled everything out. I was really super tired when I got home yesterday. It was like I couldn't wait to go to bed. I even gave up... Uh, having a music night with my friend I don't get to do that very often and I didn't even feel well enough to do that so that kind of stinks but I'll have another time that's cool it looks very boho farm <laughs> is there such a thing as boho farm <laughs> we can make it a thing by golly we're good at that aren't we making something a thing whether it's meant to be or not like that too. That's cute. Oh, look at the bird. Note to self. Really clever. Another fabric flip. I love the way she uses all these different textures. You know, the burlap and the fabric. Little button. Very cool. And then we have a little tuck here with the chicken. Farm fresh eggs. I think that's a rooster. I feel like that should open. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Another pocket full of goodies. Oh, that's cute. I don't think I noticed that the first time either. Bearded Collie. And then, um, oh, yeah, that opens. Very cute. Well, my mom has gone on a trip. She left today. Liz and I were supposed to go with her, but because the um, casinos are not allowing uh, kids under the age of 18, like in the hotel, we weren't able to go. But Liz and I were going to utilize the hotel room and the pool and that kind of stuff. I was going to take some of my journal stuff and work on it. But um, the way I'm feeling, I guess I wasn't really meant to go anyway. Because even if we could have gone, I don't really feel up to it. So, I mean, I would have gone just so they could go. but Because I was going to be my mom's ride. But um, my cousins, who my dad and she would take trips with to the casino, are taking her. So, um, it's going to be her first time going without my dad. So, I... Think it's going to be a little bit difficult for her so it would have been nice if it could have been Liz and I with her but um, 
I'm glad she still went, and I'm just praying that she has a good time and is able to handle it. Because, you know, these are tough things that she's going to have to deal with. You know, she's going to have to get used to doing these things without him. And, and uh, as difficult as it is, you know, it's part of um, what we have to do to get through the grieving process. So, anyway, this is the gorgeous journal that I got from Pam. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And, and also... Um, you know, let you know about her beautiful work and her um, giveaway that she has going on. So I apologize. I know this is not my best video, but um, I just wanted to get on here and share this. So thanks so much for watching and bearing with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope things are going well for you guys. And I will see you next time as soon as I'm able. Bye-bye.